All right, so here's the video. Um, me and my dad have uh, figured out how to use this generator, how to uh, tie it in and uh, tie it into the gas, everything. So we're gonna give you a quick tutorial here of how I'm doing it. So if the power went out, I keep this in my garage. I've got a um, gas line up here. We'll show you the uh, the uh, 50 amp cable that we're getting ready to do. So I'm gonna give the camera to my dad. Pull it out. And you'll see right here, I have a, I had to get a, a, a bigger meter, gas meter that uh, allowed more than six ounces. So I have two pounds coming out and I've got a um, quick tie in. I got all this stuff, um, this cable and the uh, meter, that all uh, is, to convert it to natural gas so that's all in the links before so we're gonna show you how to connect this it's just like simple connects is that one and simple connect to this one good make sure all your valves are open and make sure that the generator is up and running. And this is this is the 13 uh, EA, so it's a uh, basically a tri fuel. Put a little uh, primer on it and give it a little. cable into your generator and then right here this is the 50 amp breaker that's coming out of the box on the other side of the wall so we're just going to we're just going to put it in there just to show turn it there you go and then if it was running, we basically come in here and we would turn, this is the interlock switch. So you can't turn the generator on with the main power. So the only way you can do it is to turn the main power off and then move it up and then turn the main on to from the generator so now this is running from the generator and, that's and the crazy. entire house is the entire house is off so anyway what you do is uh, once you have the generator running you turn off all of your breakers that you don't want to use and just the ones that you do want to use um, and i was able to basically uh, do a load test and we were able to run one ac unit um, and uh, the entire house, e even some of the pool equipment, but the lights started to uh, fade a little bit. So uh, it, uh, it looks like it's gonna be a great setup. Um, and once, uh, once I move, it's on wheels. All I have to do is have them put a new, uh, new uh, interlock in and uh, the 50 amp box. And I just take this guy with me. But for now, it's just gonna sit here in the corner of the garage. Um, and we I'll probably put a trickle trickle charger on it um, just to keep the battery 
um, charged up so so that way if, uh, if it sits I'm gonna try to come out once a month and just let it run for 10-15 minutes and here's also it comes with uh, the generator comes with the uh, propane if you wanted to run propane so you can run propane gasoline or uh, the uh, natural gas and the conversion kit I believe I've put all that stuff out there um, with the regulator it bolts right onto this this model and I think he has uh, plenty of conversions for lots of other generators so but this one was highly recommended and um, seems like it's a great generator and it was definitely able to power most of the house all right well if anybody uh, has any questions just let me know talk to you later bye